So this question asks us to simplify the following expression. 2x squared plus 4x minus 30 over x minus 3. And there's a few, what, few ways we could do this. We could use algebraic long division, for example. Um, we could also try factorizing top and bottom and see if anything cancels out. That's what I'm going to use now. So let's see if we can factorize this. So the first thing to note is that there is something in common amongst all the terms. So we can do the highest common factor on this first. So if we take 2 out as the common factor, because 2 goes into all of these, we put the 2 here, and then in here uh, we get the other factor, and we simply divide the 2 into 2x two squared, we're left with x squared. Then we divide, divide the 2 into the plus 4x to get plus 2x. And finally, do divide the 2 into the minus 30 to get minus 15. Now, the a mistake people commonly make here is that they leave it like this because they've got two factors, right? But sometimes you can get more than two factors. If you notice, the expression here is actually a quadratic trinomial. So you can do quadratic factorizing on this factor. So we can split that into two more factors. So as there's no coefficient before the x squared, this is quite an easy uh, quadratic factorizing problem. And, and therefore, I'm going to use the following method. So I'm going to put an x here and an x here, because x times x gives you x squared. And then I'm going to put an a over the middle term and an m over the n term. They stand for add and multiply. So first question I ask myself is, what signs do I multiply to get minus? So that would have to be a plus by a minus. So I put that in here. Then I ask myself, what numbers do I multiply to get 15 and at the same time add to get 2? So that would have to be maybe 5 and 3. So we, we'd say plus 5 and minus 3 because when we add them we have to get plus 2. So plus 5 minus 3 does give me plus 2 and when we multiply them it also gives me minus 15. So that tells me that I've got the right factors. So now we can go back and replace this expression here with these two guys. And that's, that leaves us with 2 times x plus 5 by x minus 3. And now we can see that the x minus 3 cancels. So we're left with just simply 2 times x plus 5, which is 2x plus 10. So as I said before, what catches most people in this question is that they think always that there's, there should only be two factors, because that's usually the case, but not always. You can sometimes have three factors, and in this case we do have three factors, 2x plus 5 and x minus 3.